In a world where we are now more connected than ever through the internet and social media, it's really ironic that there's more and more of us that are feeling lonely, that are feeling isolated and detached from the rest of the world. And I think a lot of us, when we feel lonely, we look externally, we distract ourselves. I know I've done this so many times. We go on social media and spend hours just endless scrolling, scrolling, because we want to distract ourselves from that feeling of being lonely. To understand why we feel lonely, I think it's important that we try and understand where this feeling comes from. And we need to also understand that being lonely and being alone are two different things. When we feel lonely, that's when we detach ourselves from the rest of the world. That's when we are disconnected from the people, from the community, from everything around us, which causes us to feel isolated. And that's when we start to suffer and start feeling the pain of feeling lonely. And I've read reports before that feeling lonely is worse than smoking a number of cigarettes a day. I mean, that's how much impact it can have to our health. And that's why it's important that we deal and understand this feeling of loneliness as it's increasing in our modern day and age. When we are alone, that's completely different. We, when we are alone, we can choose to be alone. For many of us who are alone, we can value our independence. We're not disconnected from everything around us. We're still connected to our community. We're still connected to our friends, but we choose and we value our alone time because that's what helps us grow. That's what we feel comfortable in. And this is a way for us to develop. And being alone can actually bring so many benefits and it's a powerful thing if we use it the right way rather than seeing it in a negative way, we can turn it into a gift of a time that not many people get to experience. Now, I've had my fair share of feeling lonely. I've lived with a large Asian family for most of my life. It's only been the past few years that I've actually been living alone. And it's been, it's strange because it's two different extremes. I went from living with a big family to living completely alone. So I've had my fair share of feeling lonely during that transition time when I had to get used to being on my own and being by myself. I also would like to mention that just because we're surrounded by a bunch of people, it doesn't necessarily mean that we're not going to feel lonely. We can still be surrounded by so many people, whether we live with them, whether we are in a relationship and yet still experience the feeling of being lonely. And I think that's why it's so important we understand what loneliness means and deal with it the right way because this is the disease of our modern day and age. How do we deal with feeling lonely? I think many of us, including myself, I've done this so many times. When I have felt lonely, I would find external things to distract myself, whether that's going on the phone, going to parties, or just trying to distract myself from that feeling of feeling alone, feeling lonely. To the point I was scared, I was, I was scared about being alone, I feared being alone. So I think the first thing we have to do where we live in a world of distraction, it's almost impossible not to be distracted in today's day and age. I think the first thing we have to do is learn to sit with ourselves, to try and get away from all that noise. If we find the opportunity of being alone, this is the time to go inwards. And that's what I've learned and that's what I have done. And that has helped me a lot to learn about myself. This is the opportunity for us to discover more about ourselves. This was the opportunity for me to have a better relationship with myself because you know, in the past, I've had self-esteem issues, confidence issues, always comparing myself to other people. This was the time to get all of that, all those issues and try and 
overcome those issues, to learn about myself, to become confident, to discover who am I, like who am I, what am I bringing to the world, what's important to me, what are the values that's important to me and this opportunity of being alone helped me discover all those things and I think this is the time for us to not compare ourselves to other people when we find ourselves alone this is the time for us to block out all that noise that's going on and realize that every single one of us we are unique we all bring something unique to the world and I know for me when I go on social media it's so easy to compare myself to all the beautiful images that you see beautiful images of women and you know everyone just looks so successful on there and being alone has been an opportunity to find my strengths to find out who are what I what I'm what I'm about and that I don't need to rely on the way how I look externally to find self-worth and to find that confidence can come from other things other than what I just look like and it can be long-lasting things so being alone I have been able to tap into you know creative stuff I've mentioned it in my other videos like I, I'm really exploring my how I feel about art and exploring different styles and making these videos you know it's it's been a self-discovery journey for me and this can help when you learn a new skill it th that's what brings confidence that's you know no one can take away from you and that's what we can do when we are alone to remember that every single one of us we're on our own lane and not to compare ourselves to others and also I've learned that although we may think that we're alone but we're not everything is connected we're connected to the universe we're connected to nature and we're being taken care of when we are alone we can start to see it like it's a gift I know I'm in a period of my life where I am spending a lot of time alone I never imagined that I would be in this position but I would not change it for the world because it's a period of my life where I'm meant to be alone. We all go through different seasons and I think this is a season in my life where I'm meant to be alone. This is a time where I need to really discover all about myself so that I can fall in love with myself. I can tap into my, the things that I enjoy, my, all the creative stuff, become the person who I want to be. And to do that, I need to be alone. And I also find that I find some of my most creative ideas when I'm alone. So, you know, that's why I feel like we have to just embrace that alone time and see it as an opportunity and not fight against it. When we are alone, I think this is the best time for us to become our authentic self and to be our badass self <laughs> so that we can go and, t you know, bring our best self to the world and know ourselves. And that when we know ourselves, we become more confident. That's when we are least likely to compare ourselves to others and feel the need to meet to others' expectation and we're just comfortable in our own skin and I feel like nothing that is so attractive when I see that in other people and you know that it's nothing can stop you from going after what you want to go after when you're in that kind of stage in life and I find that so admirable when I see that in other people and being alone is that opportunity to to become that person so you know we should see it like a gift and to understand that being lonely is different to being alone and to embrace it <sighs> yeah let me know how if how you deal with being alone or feeling lonely i would love to hear from you maybe i could learn a thing or two from you please share your thoughts and comment below i hope you're all doing really well and i look forward to seeing you in the next video the sun is shining here yay it's almost summer I can't wait. I'm definitely more of a summer girl. So 
the layers can come off here in the UK it's we've had a long winter so I'm ex excited about the summer I hope you're all doing really well and I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye